Welcome back. Let's play another session of some 10 minute games on Shogi Wars. Uh, again, we're going to continue playing Third Falrook and see if we can somehow manage to learn more and more things about this exciting opening. Good luck. Let me turn up the volume just a touch 90%. All right. So, I met an opponent who's playing some edge file strategy. Um, I think that's okay. Okay, we can still play third file rook, but here I'm actually heavily motivated to switch to opposing rook, I think. Uh, oh. One, two, three. All right. Huh. This could be interesting. Let's get our king out of the way before something terrible happens. Okay. They defend as expected. Um. Hmm. We could get some very strange positions here. Um, all right, so my generals are going to defend each other and defend this knight. Uh, my opponent seeks to oppose our rooks here. Um, they might get their wish. Well, hang on. They can't move their pieces through... They can't capture their own pieces to get to my rook. So, we have some time. Uh, let's try to get my king somewhere safe. Okay. Interesting. Um... They're playing very aggressively. Very, very aggressively. Oh, I don't want to block my own pieces, but I might not have much choice here. What to do? This is so bizarre. Um, if I push my edge pawn, then I could maybe use my knight to take here. I admit this is unorthodox, but, like, what should I do? They've stopped my bishop pretty cold in its tracks. I want to swing my rook over to hit their bishop. Um, right, and the other thing I'm shooting for is that their own gold general could get pinned here. Um, and as it is pinned, it has to move somewhere. It could threaten my bishop. It's possible. Um, all right. I could take this. Nanafun. They still have another pawn in hand. I should be a little bit cautious here. All right, let's see it. So I'm attacking your gold general. What's your next move, sir? Sound check looks good. Half, I'm half expecting they might drop a pawn in front of the gold general just out of impulse. Um, it feels like a good move until you actually play it. 
and then I'm not sure how it feels after you play it. So, naturally I should capture this piece. My rook and bishop are attacked, so I need to do something. Oh, they could fork my rook and bishop here. That's fine. Everything's okay. Um, so, yeah. They collect my bishop. That's fine. I get a silver. I get some kind of initiative with it. Unless they retreat and actually take this knight. But I didn't think they would do that. Uh, my knight is attacked, so let's uh, promote it over here. Alright, that's resourceful. But I get a move on my turn, so I will continue attacking. Oh, I'm in check. Hang on, I need to do something about that. I didn't realize that my king is this vulnerable here. Uh, that's not great. It would be nice if I had another attacking piece, but... Beggars cannot be choosers here. Um... Alright. We're going to start an attack toward their king. So part of what matters is um, the number of pieces that are coordinated in attack. It's not just the value of each individual piece, but sometimes the quantity of pieces can also be important. Um, so let's do something about that dragon but also see if I can promote some pawns and Go cause a, a little bit of a ruckus here. Yeah, my plan is just to promote all my pawns right next to your king. There's not a lot of subtlety in this plan. Um, Hmm. So many possibilities. Um. Let's just continue. I don't know if this is right. It's possible that I had some better move. Um, This is extremely confusing to me. 
I don't want to lose any Tempe in my attack. Um, I think this is correct. It's not easy to figure out. But yeah, if they take my Rook, I might interpose Toki in here at some point in this sequence. Or might place a yet another pawn around here to just keep the attack moving. Yeah, like, I don't have to take this. It's a promoted Something. silver, sure. Um, but I think this is best. <laughs> Incredibly. So yeah, I could take the promoted silver, but... It's not my fastest move to do that. Their king is lurking in the center of the board, so my every move should be focused on attacking as rapidly as possible. Taking a promoted silver right now is not my fastest attacking move. Um... Yeah. I think at this point now it's fastest, but I'm not sure. Uh... Hmm. Actually, if I just move this token here... I don't know. There's a lot to figure out. This seems fast. This seems very fast of an attack. Um, so, I'm threatening a gold drop here. Right. Uh, they resist. Um, gold drop, silver takes, token takes, gold takes, silver takes. I don't know. I think best is actually just taking this here and then trying to win this bishop. Um this point I think I need I think I require another defensive piece. Um I might need to run. Yeah, given that they have a diagonal moving piece, I probably need to run here. <sighs> That's disappointing. It would be nice to win. Either way, this is an exciting game, but my goodness. Um, I've probably mishandled something. Oops. Uh, oh. Um... Hmm... I'm not sure if this is going to help me run. Um, Oh, they have way too many generals in hand. I am super checkmated. Bishop takes silver, like, has to mate if they can get my king into the middle of the board. Um, it's gotta be mate. Two silvers, two gold generals. Um, hmm. 
I don't know what to do. Oh, that mates directly because I can't take. Good game. Nicely played. Very interesting strategy. Let's try another game. Can I fare better this time, I wonder? Yeah, I'll have to see what the heck that was. That was really cool. Really powerful attack. Good luck. Third foul, Rook, here we go. It never lets me down except when it does. Alright, so this always leaves me just a little bit confused. Um, we're going to play third foul rook anyway, even though this, I'm not sure that this is right. Because, like, there's this wrong diagonal bishop opening, which we saw this morning, but we're going to see it again. And it's going to be violent, unless their opponent steps off the gas. And they might. Um, well, that's curious. Currently, they have no pawn in hand. This gives them the pawn in hand, but... Those who have seen, um, those who have seen Road to Shodan, kind of, uh, episode one, have some idea where this is going. So yeah, this pawn is invincible, um, at least until they break that line. But now that they've broken that line, this makes this, uh, silver out here vulnerable. Uh, so they protect this silver. I forget where this goes next. I think this is reasonable. I don't really remember. But either way, this looks fun. Let's do it. So we get a dragon. Dragons are pretty cool. Um, and only one of us gets a dragon, unless I mess something up. Which I could, because my king and dragon are prone to being forked this instant. So I need to be just a little bit cautious about that. Um... Oh, if I push this, the knight is going to have to sacrifice itself soon. But you know what? We're in a fun mood. Let's try something. Okay. I admit, even though having seen this fork, I was not concerned. Perhaps I should be concerned about it. Um, so I defend the head of my knight with a dragon instead of a rook. This might be okay. I think saner would have been if I just moved my king away. Um, I think they're trying to induce me to move the silver up, and I'm avoiding doing that because I don't want to do it. Um, well, because it could allow them to drop a bishop into the corner, 
And I don't have a hard counter to the bishop drop, at least not that I see. Um, oh. Oh, this is curious. Wait, no, we're forcing the rook to move back. We're not winning a rook. That would be so funny if I could trap the rook by pushing all the pawns forward. That's not how this works. That'd be so funny if that were how this actually worked. Um... Nanafun. Yeah, let's deal with this threat directly. So, they could put the rook on the center file, which makes some sense. And I can defend my center pawn. Uh, I guess I'm kind of baiting this move, this pawn to advance, which would allow me a knight drop closer to their camp. It's really risky. Oh! Oh, yeah, they could actually promote a bishop here. Um, even if I'm careful, they can still do that. Um, let's move my rook somewhere slightly safer. Where also I get to make counter threats. They have one pawn in hand, so I need to be somewhat cautious, because I don't know where that one pawn is going to go. Um, hmm. There's a lot of things that could happen here. Um. All right, I think this is a way that brings most of my pieces together and drops the least material. Um. This gives them a tempo to defend this extremely weak point here. Which they elect not to do. All right, let's take this. And then, hmm, I could hit this bishop. I'm not sure that gets me anything. Exchange rooks and I could promote again, but not sure that gets me anything either. Um, if I hit the bishop, where does it go? Somewhere there it's not attacking my knight. Um, do I need to know more than that? I don't think I need to know more than that. My knight is going to run soon enough. I intended to sacrifice it. Never really got the chance to. But, um... Hopefully she soon should be able to arrange something. Um... This looks like a fun square for a knight. It's so far from their camp. I could see why they would not consider this move. Um, but no, this knight actually accelerates up the board quickly while also evicting this bishop from a nice spot. 
um, um, hmm. I think my idea is that I'm going to promote a knight right there. Um, Sorry, I'm confused. Something. Yeah, I'm not finding any advantage to my strange moves. This rook is actually kind of useful there, so let's see if I can do something interesting. Again, my strange moves seem not to offer any, any advantage, but um, I'm going to play with it, see what we can come up with. Um, In the future, I need to bear in mind just put my knights on squares closer to my opponent's side of the board if I want them to land with any effect. So, that's the moral of the story. Um, My moves had virtually no effect here, which is really sad. But it's because I didn't support my attack. <sighs> Strange. Ippun Sanjubio. I don't know what to do about that.
This whole attack sucks. We're gonna sack the Rook for something. I don't even care what I'm sacking it for at this point. Um... So, yeah, very nicely played on my opponent's part. To completely constrain my attack. Um... So my attack has, like, zero effect whatsoever. It's truly amazing what the opponent has achieved here. I don't know why I did that. Um, I'm panicking, but I have no time remaining, so I have to do something. So now we'll see if the slowest attack ever has any effect. Probably not. Um, kind of sacrifice our gold. What can we do? Uh, just promote everything. Now they have all the pieces in the universe, and we have none. So they checkmate us without much ceremony. Uh, I mean, all we've got are pawns. They've, like, taken everything else we've got. So what can I do? They've played a very, very, very nice constricting game. And there's, like, no options afforded to me here. Uh... Let's try this, just out of sheer desperation. Oh. Alright, well, we gotta run there. Um. Oh, that's checkmate. They had another gold? Wow. Nicely done. I lost track of just how many pieces I gave them. I gave them a lot of pieces, and I had no time to think. Because... Third foul rook can lead to interesting positions. Oh, thanks for the game. Yeah. Good luck. Let's see how this goes. I get the sense that we're getting stronger opponents than usual. Um, maybe that's fine. Uh, wait, how does this thing go again? I feel that we just played something similar. And I feel like I misplayed it last time. Um, we're going to try this anyway. So they have a pawn in hand, and I can push this. After these games, I don't know. 
I'm playing very emotionally at the moment, in case it's not clear. And if I want to improve, I have to play more rationally. I have to actually, like, analyze my losses and figure out, other than me, the common factor, what else is the common factor here? Um, so, yeah. Here I've oh right they get a dragon that's pretty cool. Um, I forgot that pieces promote this easily, so that's exciting. Let's go protect this. Even though this clearly a lot like if they were to take the bishop, my rook gets pinned. If they were to exchange rooks, they have a rook drop and can like repeat this tactic. They get a dragon either way. I'm trying to get my rook into hand so that my position is somehow safer. I don't really know what's going on. But 3q here is teaching us a lesson in I need to like play defense or something. Um, or rather, Gota is teaching us a lesson. Let me not use a title when I can like treat an opponent with respect, I should actually explain that um yeah it's uh it's my very good opponent here who is giving me a lesson. Um hopefully I will remember this. Uh yes. Okay. So I'm going to attempt to hold the position together this way, and hopefully I am not sorely mistaken in assuming this is playable. Because if I am mistaken, this is going to hurt. But I, if I've read this outright, um, maybe I haven't. I was reading that I could take this bishop here. And that, like, this way my rook has somewhere to move to. Um, so I thought this is playable. Maybe they should have just taken my rook. I don't know. Yes, they have a powerful initiative, but... Has that ever dissuaded me? I don't think so. Um... So, yeah, we're going to fight off this pawn here with the best of our forces. Uh, also, have to be careful not to allow some bishop fork with, like, any hanging piece and or hanging pawns. Uh, yeah, I saw this. I thought I'd move the silver in the way, and I thought this would be okay. I could be wrong. Um, I know it's unpleasant, but hey, we've got a, we have a bishop in hand. Oh. Oh, that's kind of scary, isn't it? Let's get my rook ready to run again. I admittedly was thinking knight takes, but then they have a silver drop on the rook's head, which I don't have a way to deal with. No, I could retreat the rook, but... Like, the fork between the rook and the gold would be extremely painful. Instead, here we are, and the silver is blocking the pawn. So the rook can just run away and forget that this ever happened. Um, so, where does the rook go to? Um... My opponent has no pieces in hand. Alright, so they sacrifice a silver to pursue this attack. This, yeah, they get a promoted piece. That's not the worst thing ever. Um, here, how do they deal with this? 
You've got one pawn. Would you like another pawn? So I'm threatening really this target here that they've not defended. Um, the dragon can't actually defend this very easily. So I'm sure they have given me a lesson here, but I might be able to return something of a favor. Um, yeah, they have to defend. Um, as much like I want to calm down this position somehow. Uh, this token is a bit of a monster, so I can't just let it. Oh, right. Um, all right, so to collect it, I have to seal off every square that it could run to. And the gold almost does that, but a bishop could actually do that. So, yeah, this bishop is now on the board instead of being in hand. It would have been nice to have this in hand. But I am concerned about once things start exchanging this... Uh, I don't want this lever to allow other pieces to enter my position. Um, so let's also bring the knight forward and see what I can attack. Um, also, let's try to get my king somewhere slightly safe. Um, uh, if they're going to give up the file, I will take the file, sure. Um, they need something to defend, like, the square right next to the rook, or dragon. Because otherwise I promote very violently here. Uh, okay. That's been quite a game here. Lots of fireworks. Um, I'm even sacrificing the bishop. I'm that confident about this attack. So... Yeah, they can take my bishop, but they can never take my freedom. Um, thanks for the game. Oh boy, three exciting games in a row. Um, no, I think three is probably enough for this afternoon. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right. I don't think any... None of these games are ending the way I expected which I think means that I have much to learn about playing third foul rook. Um, apparently, well, I'm sorry, this is the result from the last games that I've increased 15.4% of the way up. If we'd looked at my previous two games, I'm not sure how I fared overall on the day. But in this last game, uh, yeah, this is my last result here. So, yeah, I need to study third foul rook you saw some unique ideas, perhaps because I'm playing a unique hour of day. Um, I don't know. But definitely there's some material for me to review. So I'll review that. I hope you all enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.